It is week three of Rocket Dragon Month. I'm hoping everyone's having a very good summer. Each week of this month, we're talking about a different Rocket Dragon monster. These are very useful in the pure build or the Dragon Links build. And there are certain Rocket Dragon monsters you kind of need to have in each deck, although the combination or the number of each kind of varies. So in the lovely jar, this week it has the Rocket Synchron. And the name really does make sense because it's a level one tuner. So I'm pretty sure most people will use this for synchro material rather than the other effect. Now when I look at them, like I know it's a dragon type, but they mostly look like machines, but this guy in particular looks like an insect. I guess where he's level one, he, I, I can imagine him just buzzing through the air. Bzzz, I'm coming in. I'm going to be a synchro material. But yeah, I'm sure that's what most people use this guy for because um, it does have other effects. Like, you know, when this card is normal summon, you can target one level five or higher dark dragon monster in your graveyard. You're supposed to summon it to the field. Uh, buzz effects are negated. So I'm guessing that's the whole point is that you have a level five or higher dark dragon in your grave, which is easy because, you know, you doing the pure build of rocket dragons. They're all dragons and they're all dark. So get to the field and use him as a tuner to sink off into something from your extra deck. The only problem is it has the same claws that the rocket tracer has. Is if you do use the effect, you will be locked into nothing but dark dragon, I'm sorry, dark monsters from your extra deck, which again, it's not bad if you're doing the pure build, but with dragon links, it's a little more complicated than that. Sometimes you do want uh, light dragon monsters or even wind dragon monsters going into this. So you kind of need them for your combos, but I never use the effect. Um, I did use Rocket Synchron in Blue Eyes Guard Dragons when Argapane was still legal. And with dragon links, I still use them to this day because you can get them out with quick launch uh, and I can sink off into whatever I want. I still use the Dragon Ruler Tempest play, so he's a really easy way to get out the Borlo Savage Dragon, which is crazy. But not everyone use him. I have seen some deck profiles of Dragon Link that people opt out from him altogether, so it just depends on your strategy. You don't have to use them. You can use one, two, or three. I don't really recommend three, but hey, I mean, I'm sure a lot of you know that some combinations that I don't. So what about you? Do any of you use Rocket Synchron? Do you think he's useful? Do you think it's a waste of space in your deck? Let me know in the comment section below. And as always, remember to be a good sport, play the game, not the fame, and stay tuned for week four of Rocket Dragon Month.